Calling landscape design. What's up, man? Hey, Bruce. So uh, I know I ordered side yesterday. Uh, uh, is it too late to order for this week? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, they're 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 already in their cut and their trucking is all set up. Yeah. Okay. No worries. I I had a stupid customer. Well, it's still you raining tomorrow anyway, so I don't know. I don't even know if I'm even gonna get it. I called him this morning and he said he didn't know if he was gonna get rain. I don't know. He said, it's to start raining 30 minutes. I don't know yet. I'll let you know. So I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna get some. I mean, I might. I don't even know if I'm gonna get this. Well, no, you can't order now. It's too late. <laughs> All that for I can't order now. It's too late. <laughs> too late. I, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna get my order today. All right. They said it's they said it's to rain down there in 30 minutes. That was early this morning. All right. Well, they said he even let me know. So All right. Worst case scenario is next week. Next. Sunday. No, it's gonna no. It's gonna be next week. Period. You can't get no more this week. I can't get it. Okay. Over. No worries. All right. Thank All you right. so much. All right. Later. Later. Yep. Okay, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, it ain't been such a great morning. Uh, and I'll get into it. Uh, Let me get everything ready. Uh, I got to go over here and do this one yard. So today, y'all know that we were scheduled to do the 50 acre cut, right? I got an email at 5.30 this morning where the accountant lady told me, no. She told me to uh, that they were gonna have to put, up, uh, put it off or put it on hold or something. She went on to say, and I'll just be honest with you guys, she went on to say that she expected that she she i might even put the email up I don't, it don't matter but she went on to say uh you know i expected everything to be done by the 18th uh and and it's not so you're fired pretty much that's what she said well she didn't say that but she doesn't want me to come today and I had already cut approximately uh, about eight or nine acres of the 50 acre cut so uh, you know it just shows you that you got to be really careful and you know and I, I'm not gonna I, I, I'm not gonna cry too much uh, they don't owe me no money. They don't, uh, you know, they paid me uh, the 4,500. And then when I when I was corresponding with her this morning, she wouldn't answer the phone. Uh, you know, it was like 6.30 this morning. You know, I got everything ready to go. I got all the mowers on the trails, everything fueled up, uh, the labor on standby, and it was all set in stone based on the conversation that me and her have had leading up to this morning. And I'm extremely disappointed though, uh, because I, well, you know, I just am, because I, I put a lot of emphasis on being able to do that property. I put a lot of emphasis on, you know, scratching and clawing at my schedule and freeing and moving things around, freeing time up to be able to do that property. And uh, today, tomorrow, and Saturday, both the properties over there. And considering that she, the whole thing about the whole relationship that we've had in the last 10 days has been based on get everything done, you know, get everything done by the end of the month. That, everything that, you know. So, I actually was not supposed to get the, uh, interior stuff done the tree trimming and all that that y'all saw us do over the weekend i wasn't actually supposed to get that done uh until the 23rd and that's in the contract i got it done early because i'm an overachiever and i you know and i'm trying to plan and, and you know we just been, we got it all done y'all gotta admit it did look really good so 
answered this email this morning. I tried to call her, no answer. And so I had to call, you know, my my labor and say, look, we're not even going to work today. It doesn't look like because of this. Because I got in my calendar, I got today and tomorrow totally free to cut this acreage over here. I put off two side jobs you know, to next week that I could have done in these two days. And uh, so I wake up today, the morning of my birthday, and I ain't got nothing to do. You know? Uh, now, I don't know if she's going to call me back or whatever. And keep in mind, they don't owe me no money. They paid me, so from that perspective, I'm good. I'm like, cool, I'm good. You know, you don't owe me nothing. Uh, they even paid me this morning. They paid me for the 10 acres I did cut over there. So, uh, I got that uh, $750 this morning. They wired it to me. And she, and then the, and I'm dealing with two different people. One lady that cuts the checks and does the wiring, and then the head financial lady. So the head financial lady said, uh, uh, finally gets back with me and says, "Well, I thought that the that the uh, the acreage cut was included in the forty five hundred dollars." She said, "You charge us forty five hundred dollars to do a little bit of edging and stuff." Yeah, we spent. We spent three days over there, so a lot more than edging. Uh, I mean, y'all saw it. Y'all saw how good it looked when we're done. No, she. What happened is she got it all done that she needed to get done, and the things that require a special skill set. And then she thinks that she's going to get somebody over there to cut those 50 acres plus the 14 next door by the end of the month, and not be me. And she might be able to. But they're not going to be able to cut it like I can cut it. They're not going to be able to do the work like I can do the work because I'm familiar with the property. And the properties are getting worse off. The 14-acre cut uh, on schedule is supposed to be cut on Sunday. And that's with the other owners you know, on, the, on the schedule that me and the other owners came up with. You know, the yearly schedule. So it doesn't, it doesn't look like I'm going to get the contract as of today. And I know what isn't going to end up happening. What's going to end up happening is they're going to, she's going to wait until midweek next week because that's about, about that time is when she'll realize that, oh, getting somebody to cut 35, 40 acres is quite a challenge in the time frame that I need it. And if you do get somebody to do it, they're gonna both they're gonna they're gonna hit you dead in the mouth on on the price, a lot higher than me, and they ain't never been over there before. So, am I disappointed? Well, sure, you know, uh, but I'm paid. So I ended up turning uh, that job into $5,200. That's that's what we ended up making over there. Uh, and the last uh, $700, uh, $750, and the last $750 was me just mowing while they were wrapping up, you know, uh, the uh, cleanup. So, yeah, man. Uh, the biggest thing is, is there's a big void in my schedule now. Where, where I'm not earning. And that's a problem for me because I got a lot of work. <laughs> so I've had a... Yeah, man. Not cool, y'all. So I got the Ferris on here. I got the X mark on here. I'm going to be... Uh, well, I'm going to fill the, X, the Ferris up with diesel. It needs fuel in it. So I already had it on the trailer because so we're going over here to cut the big cut. And maybe they'll call me. Nick, you know, but I can't guarantee that I'll have time. Because I'm, at the end of the day, she called me out of the blue. I didn't know this lady or nothing. She called me. 
I was minding my own business and didn't want no trouble. And uh, yeah. So is it disappointing not getting or, or not being able to finish and make the other three grand? Or not three grand now, it'd be what? 2,500, 2,400. It's disappointing from the from the potential earning uh, prospect, but it's more disappointing that she does not recognize the uh, magnitude of what it took for me to be able to do that property over the weekend and get it in order. You know, and that's where I'm having a problem. Uh, and even though they paid me, and even I thought I was overachieving. And by landscaper standards, I was. By accountant standards, well, you know, I wasn't. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but it's, it's, it's been kind of a whirlwind morning uh, where, and, and, and there was, well, ever since I've been doing the property, you know, uh, took that property on, it's kind of been, it's been a, it's been one complicated issue after another because they got an accountant trying to be in charge of the landscaping and the and the, and the uh, you know the land management and in the pro in the process of her doing all that she's alienated a lot of people because there's a lot of other things that need to get done besides just 50 acre cut pressure washing painting the gate needs to be fixed blah 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 a lot of stuff so by her telling me she's good well that tells me two things either one she doesn't understand the magnitude of what it takes to cut 50 acres and 14 acres and or she's got somebody to do it cheaper that says they can do it cheaper well can't just anybody and I'll say it hardcore can't just anybody cut 50 acres and and 14 acres and make money at it because it takes a lot I got a lot of experience out here and I got big mowers and I got uh, a lot of know-how and it was going to take a lot for me to do it and resource wise and know-how wise and machine wise so I don't know. My thinking is she's gonna try to call me next week. When she when she find the only way she's gonna find out that it's harder to find somebody to cut it than what she might think is when she has to actually do it. So if she's gonna try to hire somebody by the end of the month to cut all that property, good luck. Good luck. Because that's gonna be a hard sell. Because everybody doesn't have the equipment, and, and more than that, everybody doesn't have the time. Because if you don't have a lot of equipment, then you're not going to be able to do that property in a, in, a, in a timely fashion to make money at it. Right? You're going to be more, you know, and then whoever she, if she does get somebody else to cut it, and whoever that is, well, then she might... Well, they might not be able to do it. They might tell her they can, but they might not be able to actually do it. I mean, and get this. The grass ain't getting no shorter, y'all. That shit's tall. Y'all saw how tall that grass is out there. And I got big mowers. And uh, the last guy that cut the property over there, uh, the housekeeper lady told, the housekeeping lady told me that it took him over a week to cut the 50 acres. Over a week. Like six days or something like that. Over more than five days. So. I don't see her getting it cut by the end of the month. Unless I do it. Might be wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, big money, uh, Places are, are, you know, well, they're, they look at guys like me as disposable. And see, I don't. 
I know I'm not. But an accountant don't really know that, and she'll find out when she tries to find somebody else to cut it. So, we'll just have to see. But I know that if she calls me on the fly, pressure trying to pressure me to cut it, then I'm not I'm not gonna want to cut it. Well, I'm not gonna have time, see, before the end of the month, because I put off two sod jobs, and I can't take that back because I can't get the sod. So that's a problem. Watch her call me next week, one day next week, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday, Thursday. We get around the 25th or so, something like that. Her call me and say, hey, uh, do you think you, you, can, you can cut all the acreage over there? This is the same problem I ran into the last time I, uh, I was working with them. The same exact problem, so. Bye, y'all. You know, <laughs> I mean, the only silver lining is that she paid me and I got and I made good money you know I made uh, uh, what 4500 so 5250 dollars I made over there you know out of that profit on that probably 3500 y'all see it's all good I'm gonna knock this yard out real quick y'all all right, maybe I'll get a little bit of footage over here. Let me grab, I'm going to grab the GoPro, and yeah. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to use the X-Mark on this property. Uh, the Ferris, I just brought it to, to, to fill it up with fuel. Uh, because, uh, well, it was running a little bit low on diesel. And y'all see that new pulley I put on there? Yeah, working great. It, I cut my yard with it yesterday, so this thing runs good. Uh, I'm going to move the Ferris out of the way. So, uh, I got to put the new head on the weed eater. I might be able to get away with this one without doing that. Uh, but if I lose an eye over here, I'm I'm done. So, yeah. So, y'all can see it. I'm going to, I'll set the camera up on time lapse. It won't, it's not going to take me long over here. So, uh, really not, not a very a big property or nothing. Uh, and it's really not that bad either. Uh, I'd rather have the skag over here because of this ditch right here, but uh, they tore the ditch up, putting pipe in or clear. Oh, well, they, did, they redid the road, so. Okay guys, so I got done with that one. Uh, before I started on this one though, what I did is I went on and got prices for sod and I uh, shot two bids while I was sitting here in the truck over to the two uh, places that need sod and we might be able to get the sod on Saturday. I'm not 100% sure, so maybe uh, you know I won't lose out on, well I'm not gonna lose out on doing the sod jobs I just, I, what is going to end up happening is I'm going to have like two or three days where we ain't got nothing to do. And, you know, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, I'd rather be making money, right? I want to make money today. So, uh, yeah. And I want to make money tomorrow and uh, Saturday. So maybe we can do one of the side jobs, if not the other. But side prices are through the roof, y'all. Uh, I mean, the price of a pallet of sod, uh, Bermuda sod here, uh, where I'm at, 
is $450 a pallet. <clears throat> That's my cost. So, <laughs> uh yeah that that's and that's what it costs for us to uh to do sod uh normally what i do with sod i mean there's really not a set way that i do it but whatever the sod cost that's what i charge to, to lay it plus delivery so the side place charges 175 dollars to deliver it mm. i need to be able to get four pallets at one time but anyway, I'm going to check everything and see if anybody's responded. I'm sure that, that they have. So let's see what uh, they're talking about here. She decided that she's gonna, she wants to do it, but one pallet. So yeah, you know, let's see if the other people, they, 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 at first they wanted two pallets each, right? And they're two totally separate customers, you know? Now let's call the, the, the next place that I'm fixing to, I'm gonna check my email. It's the place where me and Zach pulled out all that uh, juniper. So we'll see what they say. They may want to go with just one pallet too. And I can't really blame them, man. And you know, I'd rather do two pallets than four, even though I'm earning. I'm just trying to get them out of the way to where we can uh, move on uh, and I don't have to, you know, yeah. We're gonna make money at it, but you know, we ain't making a fortune or nothing. So the other people are emailing me back and they're saying they want to keep it around 700. So, um, yeah, uh, If I'm them, I just put one pallet and and but I can't do one pallet for 700, man. There's no way. No way. All right, so both the customers want the side, uh but they don't it, neither I don't blame them either, man. So the, the side is extremely expensive right now. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, it's hard to make money at the side game right now uh unless you're just buying a lot of side. And it's going to be easier for me too, so they both agreed to uh, doing one pallet. So I'll make about 500 bucks profit on each one. So, you know, that won't be, it, it, ain't, it ain't great money, but it's very doable, uh, you know. Oh, right, y'all pull up to the house. Y'all know what it is. It's Sammy time Thursday. Peace out.